So the four of you are in the front of the train uh, with the with the two conductors driving towards a uh, a snowy mountain town. Uh, again, the 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 large mountain sticks out like a sore thumb against this this flat wasteland of of white. Um, but you're heading towards a a junction, like a little like a station. Um, where where these all of these tracks are converging to, and there there are other trains that are uh, currently parked near there. The town itself is comprised of uh, multiple factories. Uh, you can see smoke billowing out of the chimneys, um, and there there don't appear to be any homes. But um, as you as you get even closer, you can see what might be like apartment complexes. Um, and just, just at a glance, they could, they could fit a lot of people in them very easily. Um, so that's what you see as you start getting closer, uh, standing in front of you is the assistant conductor who is, uh, just looking more and more nervous by the second at the four of you. Uh, and he says, uh, yeah, so we're we're just about here. I don't know if you guys want to, you know, take a look uh, in the back of the vault. It's, it's a little late for that now, anyway. Uh, if you if you guys just want to go sit down, that's fine too. Why does he sound so upset? He, uh, or I guess it. They they turn to you, um, and and say, eh, I'm not. The, that's classified sort of stuff. This is just, uh, what happens if we just what happens if we just stand here. I mean, Ernest I walks away. He's done. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Ernest, you, uh, you walk away, and the other three of you, you can see the uh, assistant conductor looks a little less stressed out. Oh, good. Um, is the door open, oh. or are we just talking to them through the window? Well, the window is smashed. Yes. Um, and <laughs> I the 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 door is the door is open and he's sort of standing in the entrance way. Okay, the Meg's Meg's gonna give gentle pat on shoulder, little like it's okay, bug boy, it's okay, and then he he <laughs> falls behind. Okay. Yeah, I think um, I'm gonna so walk away too. <laughs> okay. No pat, Dandy. <laughs> no. I'm gonna wow. glare at them suspiciously and then reluctantly follow my friends. Okay. <laughs> Suck um, at patting. You guys head back down. I believe I said two train cars down was where the uh, rest of the crew was hanging out. Mm. Mm -hmm. um, and as you guys enter into the car with the other passengers, um, a lot of cockroaches scurry past you into the car, like an unnatural amount of cockroaches. Ugh. No. Ernest no. is very grossed out. Nate jumps on the seat. <laughs> <laughs> um, and as you take in the rest of the scene, you see the FBI agent Jeff clutching in his arms a uh, a paper thin, um, like almost like a skin, uh, mm. just draped across his arms, and he looks horrified as you guys walk in, and he says, "Why did Jethro just turn into cockroaches?" Oh, oh. Oh, he was a demon. He's a a demon? Uh, no. I like how matter of fact you said that. You're like, ah, he's a demon. Good save, Shit Dandy. <laughs> it's an I, uh, I wanna grab I wanna grab the skin from um from Jeff and uh start putting it in my pocket. Okay. You, <laughs> you pocket uh Jethro's skin. Congratulations. <laughs> Great. Now I have a disguise. Are you happy? Are you happy with yourself? Well, it's they have that just all that means is that he had the same machine as they had in the last place. Remember the Greenwoods? This is all just that all over again. 
So demons yeah. can take the baby form face. of cockroaches. No, I can take the form of Jethro. I'm gonna take the form well, of the, a baby. Well, the last, the um, obviously like the demon denizens of the slander cockroach people. The um, I mean, we saw the conductors. The um, the last moths. place was bat people. <laughs> Yeah, the conductors are moths. moths. Yeah, yeah, the conductors are moths. They were moths. moth people. Oh, well, They're whatever. Fluffy. It's bug people land. Wow. It's bug people land? <laughs> bug, bug land. I'm just going to generalize, are we? Great. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, while you guys talk about generalizing bugs, <laughs> bug you, hear, <laughs> you hear a, uh, a screech as the train comes to a stop. Um, and... A uh, another bug person, one uh, another moth person, one that you haven't seen before, comes over to open the door, uh, and they they take a look around and say, "Welcome to the train yard. Uh, anything to declare?" Hey, why was there a bunch of cockroaches? <laughs> We're gonna declare oh, the cockroaches. Uh, Way to declare that <laughs> question, Mail. <laughs> The 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 this new uh, moth person raises their hand and say, "All will be answered in good time." This is not really a question session so much as a declaration session. I declare that I want five dollars. Uh, he turns to you, and as he looks at you, Dandy, his eyes widen in horror. Uh, and they continue to widen as he turns to Ernest and Harvey. Um before eventually settling on you, Meg. Oh. Uh, at, at which point the he... I'm, I'm using he and they. I'm, I'm sorry. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> they, either is fine for the moth people, let's say. Okay. Um, and uh, they, they they turn to you, Meg, and say, Oh, you're, you're Megalo, right? Y- yes. Do you, do you know the rest of these people? I, I, I'm sorry. Is you, some of you guys aren't on the list. Is that correct? We're the plus ones. Yeah, they, they are my plus ones. They are my friends. Uh, if these moth people could frown, they frown. And <laughs> is that say, against rules? Am I am I in trouble? Uh, no, no, of course not. No, you're not in trouble. I just I don't I don't want to be in trouble. And he looks very very sad. Uh, oh no! <laughs> the the moth person looks. <laughs> they, they look very. They look very uncomfortable. Um, Good. <laughs> <laughs> and and say no no trouble here this is fine um why don't you guys step off and we can begin the tour Woo-hoo, vacation yes uh, this is a fucked up are, vacation and, <laughs> <laughs> and they they motion for you all to follow them off of the train is it Good, snowy yes. yeah what's the there's, weather there's like a, um actually crystal clear the the storm that you've been traveling through almost forms like a barrier around the uh the town and the mountain Run a reverse snow globe but like is it cold <laughs> it's a little chilly okay ernest is gonna also put on his um his his lizard cape along with the baby face dandy oh is God. like feeling this cold weather okay uh Ooh. meg some context for you yes uh <laughs> Ernest found a a wearable baby face. I was gonna ask about that. I, I didn't know if he was just like looking his perkiest and softest on command, or like what, or if he had like actual literal baby face that he just pulls over like a ski mask. It's actual skin. Exactly That's like exactly that. what it is. We had um, last 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 time we found this machine that prints out skin. And we just printed out a baby head, and uh, Ernest. I like took how it. that's yeah. the direction you guys went to. Like you could have printed anything. Like you could have printed. <laughs> well, like, we were fucking... just exper- We were like, we didn't know what it did. We were experimenting with it, and we turned. We it was like an age thing. We turned it all the way back to baby on accident. <laughs> so now okay, that, that gives you more face. context. I thought you could just like <laughs> request what you could print, and your first thing was like, let's just print an infant. Like, <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. Um, Okay, so so yeah, let me let me set the the scene a little better here. Um, so you guys step off into uh, maybe half an inch deep snow, just like a very yes. light coating of snow on the ground. I am delighted. Um, the the station itself is open air. Um, you can you can see some similar sort of gatherings going on with these moth attendants. Um, uh, like greeting greeting these humans coming off the trains um but like there's a lot of activity going on um as you guys sort of continue down through this this open air station um a few children actually run by you Mm. like like 
two moth children and one like little human uh little girl like all run by you um and they are they are pursued by a very anxious looking uh moth uh adult um precious do they fly uh they they've all been wearing clothes so with the current information you have you cannot determine whether or not they have wings okay um as as we're on this tour can i can i shovel like a couple handfuls of snow into my pockets you do that meg (laughs) and boy howdy let me tell you you feel like it might melt soon wait so is it sunny and snowy well, they, there's snow on the ground um, from, you would guess, maybe a previous storm, but it's very sunny outside. Oh, so there's not just, like, snow everywhere? No, no, it's not snowing currently. It's like the half-melted state of snow. Oh, so yeah. it's slush? <laughs> <laughs> it's still pretty nice. It's probably going to be slush soon, though. Okay, well, I'll just, I'll, just, I'll just compact a real good handful, just the one of snow, Okay. and I'll just, just I'll keep just that one... in my hand. One beautiful ball of snow. Yeah, like if you can imagine the most pristine, <laughs> beautifully crafted snowball. That's well, what I'm carrying. Hey, maybe maybe instead of that, we can have you make a uh, <laughs> maybe a dexterity check to yes. see how nimbly you uh, roll up see the snow. How good I am at crafting snowball. <laughs> um, that was a fail. Okay. Uh, you, you <laughs> that, was, that was a big fucking fail, my dude. Um, Meg, as you as you marvel at the wonder of your <laughs> snowball, uh, maybe Harvey, you glance over and you just see like this shitty, uh, <laughs> tiny little ball of nothing. I give him There's, a like, thumbs up. There's like rocks and shit in it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and as you guys travel through, you're getting a lot of looks from the inhabitants of this town um specifically Ernest, dandy and harvey the three of you are getting a lot of stares why but i have a baby face on yeah i mean that might be attracting more to <laughs> itself great but nobody knows that i i am who i am yeah maybe no one knows that you're Ernest, but they think you're a freak with a baby forehead. <laughs> no that's fine um but but uh, I think even more so than scary baby face, uh, like Dandy and Harvey, you are just getting a lot of scared and uh, kind of horrified looks. I walk over like I put my like collar up a little bit higher I go over, and like I go try and to, sink into my jacket. Uh, I go over to Dandy and I'm just like, "What the fuck did you do?" Uh, I don't know. I don't know whose Cheerios I shit in, but God. <laughs> Are people like running into their houses or are they just staring? Um, I'm gonna say probably like two or three people you've seen actively avoid your path and have maybe darted the other direction. Nice. Okay. Can I like awkwardly wave at one of the people and see what they do? Uh, they scream. Oh my god. Oh my god. What oh no. did you do? <laughs> I don't know. I've never seen a moth person before. We've never oh. been here before. Oh, they've probably never seen that person before. No, they definitely have. It's there was a oh yeah, there's running around I, there's, earlier. Yeah, we I, we just saw a little person. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um. Hey, Mr. Tour Guide. Uh, they they turn a little anxiously to you. <laughs> what? Why does everybody hate us? Yeah. <laughs> Where are we going? Uh, well, we're gonna take you down to registration, uh, where we can learn a little more about you guys. And, uh, are and you they going turn around to and cry? hurry their step. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mr. Mothman, um, why do you guys hate us? Oh, you don't hate you! And they quicken their pace even further. I want to like are jog you? and like, I want to like jog and be like. Wait a minute. <laughs> uh, they they are a- actively avoiding eye contact with you now. I want to stare at him. Okay, as you as you stare at him, um, a a human uh, runs up to your party and pulls the moth person aside and says, "Johnson, what are you doing with these people?" Uh, and the the moth person turns horrified uh, and starts stammering. Um, the the human continues. We cannot have 
these sort of people running around causing panic on the streets. Um, what sort of people nice is that? Thanks for discriminating against us. He, <laughs> he's right next to you as oh, you I yell know. at him. Oh, I know. Yelling it in his ear. <laughs> just like in his face like, thanks. He, he turns to you in size and says, Dandy, right? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Dandera Lane, that's Arthur? you. Arthur? No, not Arthur. What? Bartleby. Bartleby? He, okay, he Are we turns, just guessing random names now? He turns away from you, Dandy, and says, Harvey Williams. Yeah. Great. No, How I'm do Harvey. you know our names? <laughs> Dandy. He, he sighs. He's, <laughs> <laughs> no, what the fuck is up with this dude? You're a little bitch. Whoa. Um, he, he, like, he pinches his uh, fingers against his nose and says, I'm looking for Ernest Hawthorne and Jimmy James McGrath. Uh, Ernest looks around like, what? Where? Have you guys seen them? Come on, please. Please please don't well, make this a our scene. Fr- our friend Jimmy James is fucking dead, so thanks for that. Insensitive jerk. Uh, <laughs> asshole. Jesus. Uh, he looks taken aback uh, by this news, and he says, oh, I, I am uh, very honestly sorry about that. Good. Uh, Ernest... Hawthorne. I dramatically take off the baby mask. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I've been gone a long time, but class. I did not if think you, humans were baby people. If you fucking like knew our names, I feel like you should have expected that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, how do you know our names? Yeah. He And what is your name? Because I'm not taking another step until I know your name. My name is uh <laughs> Thomas. Uh, nice no, to meet you, is. uh no wait, no. Uh, Jackson. Jackson? Jackson. Like Jackson. Jackson and Johnson. That's what we're doing right now, can guys. His name be, can his name be Jackson Corn? Oh. No, Jackson Cucumber. Cucumber. Oh, Why? Wow. Why? Why? J- Jackson Cukes is my name. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I work I work for the train yard, uh, trying to keep the peace here. Why are you a human? <laughs> yeah, why <laughs> are you a human? <laughs> He frowns and says, I am very much a human as much as the three of you are. I pull out, um, uh, what's it, Jethro's face, and I'm like, you sure? Yeah, he's like, oh my god, why do you have that? That is... <laughs> <laughs> I put it back in my pocket, and I'm just like, it's just insurance. Does um, it get wrinkled while it's in your pocket? Okay, oh, I'm, it's like I'm sorry. Yeah, it's probably getting a little wrinkled. <laughs> but Meg's gonna approach, is it is it Jackson Cukes? Or Cukes? Yeah, Jackson Cukes. <laughs> it's pronounced Cukes. Like, yeah, Cuc- like short for cucumber. But like pronounced like puke? No. no. Alright. Meg's gonna approach and be like, I am sorry. Why are why is everyone afraid of us? Uh he turns to you and says, No, I'm I'm sorry, Megalo. Did you get mixed up with these guys? What? No, Megalo friend. I mixed myself, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> he uh he he motions to a wall nearby and says well Mr. Megalo you just aligned yourself with the three most dangerous people in the entire train yard so that's a thing and uh you see wanted posters <laughs> oh not, my god not wanted Guys. posters <laughs> more more like persons of interest like if you see these people do not approach them Dandy oh. drugs. indifferent can I Ernest can I go over nice. to the wall and take one can I take mine? <laughs> uh, yeah, you you Wait, take yours you go, down. Go, yes. I have mine too. Oh, me too. Wait, no, I I want to follow Harvey and just start shoving him in my pockets. Uh, Mr. Megalo, can you please can you please maybe not do that? Hold on, I'll be over there in a second. I can. We're to tourists, shove. right? This is like um, what's it called? Like a trophy. What's it called? <laughs> when you a, get a thing. A trophy. A souvenir. <laughs> souvenir. A he, trophy. <laughs> he uh, turns to you and says, "The train yard is not a vacation home." I don't know where we are. Yes, and see, we've been told so little, we have no idea what's going on. So, if you could fill us in on literally anything, yeah, make yeah, come turned... back with full pockets. Yeah, I mean, waiting. all you've got, done over is come over, insult us, remind us that our friend is dead, insult us some more, tell us that we're about to be like arrested or some shit. So you know, now we feel scared. No, no, so you're not... not a very good host. Wait, so you've done a lot to the most dangerous friends. people in the train yard. <laughs> he just said we're uh, spoopy. Uh, Johnson is sweating nervously, and Jackson turns to Johnson and says, I'm going to take it from here, bud. You uh, go maybe help out one of the other groups. 
uh, and Johnson graciously runs away. Aw, Megalo reaches out like, no, come back. (laughs) And Jackson says, if you would all follow me, I'm uh, going to take you to uh, see the man in charge here. Arthur? No, not Arthur, the, the mayor. Mayor, is there? Mayor, are y'all got mayors now? Right. We do have mayors. Is this... he a moth mayor? He is a moth mayor. <laughs> That's precious. Mayor Mothington? <laughs> it is not Mayor Mothington. <laughs> uh, and he, he motions for you guys to, to follow him. Okay. It's okay. Okay. Um, okay, so so uh, Jackson Cukes uh, is now escorting you away from the the uh like the factories that you guys were walking alongside and uh do you guys have any questions as you're traveling so if you're a human why are you here uh well same reason most people end up in the train yard an invitation uh i can't imagine most of you were invited we're plus ones yeah we're the plus ones i invited them (laughs) that makes sense (laughs) <laughs> Mr. Megalo, if you would like to continue with one of the tour groups, please feel free. What? No. <laughs> okay. Wait, All wait, right. wait. Before we go any further, are we about to go somewhere where you're either going to, one, kill us, B, lock us up, or three, intimidate us in any fashion? A, B, or wait, three, what? please. B, three? Can we, can we address that? <laughs> I'm so tired today. Hold on. Meg uh, leans over. Can you count? <laughs> Listen, don't insult her we've been insulted enough I, it was ask i'm I, sorry <laughs> I, I didn't get to finish school okay god oh, oh it's no. okay you're doing great you're doing amazing <laughs> thank you wait your did ab3s I go, are great wait, did i go to school i don't even remember uh, <laughs> your your intelligence is high enough for for a level of a i think like a bachelor's or even a master's oh but... i do have that okay well i went to school i'm just dumb <laughs> right now, specifically, you're having a this dumb moment. Ride, it's been liter- it's been nothing but stress. Okay, okay well, uh, to get relate. back on pet pet, <laughs> uh, to sort of rerail this uh, conversation. Um, <laughs> no, no, no uh, kidnapping, no locking up, no intimidation. It's not really how our good mayor operates. Uh, but I'm gonna let him do the talking once he understands the situation. Um, oh, cool. And he leads you to a uh, a large wooden building um, with a with a nice uh, clock tower uh, on the top of it. Not saying this out loud, but seeing that it's made of wood reminds me of my girlfriend. And the only thing I can think of is flammable. <laughs> okay. Wait, Wonderful. that your girlfriend is um, flammable? Yeah. No, <laughs> this building this building is. Oh. Uh, Dandy's Dandy's uh, in game girlfriend is a pyro. Oh. Okay. Um, I was concerned. <laughs> no, not my, not my real girlfriend. I don't have a real girlfriend yet. <laughs> Ooh. As Jackson <laughs> leads you into the uh, the town hall, the the main floor is is a very homely, uh, styled place, uh, almost like almost like a ski lodge. Um, Ooh. It has it has very lodge like vibes. Is um, there any hot cocoa? No hot cocoa from where you currently are right now. I I gently want to like tap Jackson on the shoulder, not to try and scare him, but just to get his attention. He does jump a little bit. I'm sorry. Uh-huh. Is there any hot cocoa available? I'm sure we could arrange to uh, get you guys hot cocoa. Would Anyone you, else hot cocoa? Are you cocoa? going to yes. poison it? Make would like to. No. <laughs> <laughs> he turns to you exasperated and says, "Why do you think we're going to do all these horrible things?" Dandy holds up the wanted poster. Yeah, you guys have a reputation. Uh, what? what did we do? Destroying worlds. Yeah. Well, ah, you mean the demons trying to infiltrate Earth and destroy humanity? He rolls his eyes uh, and walks up to the receptionist. Where? <laughs> so where, yes, where it's all about perspective, moth. guys. <laughs> ah, yes. Uh, where where a young moth is typing away at a typewriter, um, and uh, Jackson leans in and whispers something to them and uh they they stand up uh and almost like salute him and say right away sir and they they There's run a off please name that one ferg that one is ferg ferg <laughs> oh. right. and ferg runs off down a hallway um and jackson motions for you guys to to take some seats did we get our hot cocoa i grab a chair i sit very carefully in one okay i'll, I'll sit pop yeah, my butt just... on the floor all right 
I'm just holding the chair. This chair's for you, Meg. I'm too big. <laughs> oh, no. Is Harvey sitting? Yeah, I'm sitting. Okay, um, after, we'll say about seven minutes or so, like at, like a decent wait, um, Ferg runs back in, uh, clutching, like, like wrapped around uh, their, their furry little moth body is uh, four steaming cups of cocoa. <laughs> Oh, oh wow! Um, that they pass out to the four of you and <laughs> say, "Mayor Coer will see you now." Thank you, okay. Ferg. Ferg. Thank you. How do you know my name? Um, Jackson told us, so we could thank you. Uh, <laughs> Jackson like shakes his head. <laughs> <laughs> you have uh, name tag. And... You work here. He gestures. Okay, yeah, I, it does make sense that there would be a name tag. Yeah. Uh, whether or not Dandy knew that ahead of time. <laughs> <laughs> Dandy, <laughs> Dandy drinks her cup cook <laughs> nervously. I mean, we saw him earlier, and I'm sure he might have had a name tag. <laughs> um, and Ferg escorts the four of you down the corridor they wandered off down originally. Um, and leads you to a, uh, a, a door that is... A- Mayor Moth. That is accurately <laughs> labeled uh, Mayor, Mayor Mothington Cohen. I'm going to call him Martha. <laughs> Wait, you can't. I the door. You can't make his last name Cohen. It Wasn't it Cohen? No, it was Cohen. No, it was Cor. It was, it was Cor? Cor. I'm sorry. Mayor, Mayor Mothington Cor. K O E R. Mayor Mothington Cohen. I kind of like that name. I like it. Um, it means moth. Moth. Yeah. And <laughs> I know, Beth. I Mayor know. Mothington <laughs> Moth. Thanks. I love it. <laughs> Hi, everyone. I'm Max. I'm Mark. I'm Beth. And we're all here for your regularly scheduled ad break. Yeah. What's up, guys? Thank you so much for listening. This is the third the third episode yeah. of the last train out our fourth arc um and we guys hope you're enjoying it very very much i know i am <laughs> <laughs> great uh next episode comes out on august 6th uh so you can look forward to that then um and before we continue the reason that we have everyone here today except for marco is actually so we can give a big shout out to him cuz our boy Marco is literally getting married. Woohoo! Congratulations! When you're listening, if you're listening to this on the day it comes out, it was actually yesterday that happened. Um, we are we are so happy for him and Jack. Um, yes. and we wish them many many years of happiness and good fortune. Every joy, literally. every joy every known to man. Joy. Um, so big shout out to them. And if you would like to congratulate the happy couple. Uh, you can find Marco at Camcos, that's C-A-M-C-C-C-O-S, and you can also find Jack, Great. Jesus Christ, I should have read this one first, Jack Winand, but it's, okay, so it's Jack, I'm sure you know how to spell Jack, and then V-V-Y-N-A-N-D. So that's a word. Maybe that's, it's like the Homestuck way, like woo-woo. Yeah, woo-woo, probably. Woo-woo. Woo woo. Um, oh, not no. ooh woo. Ooh, don't you? Ooh, I said woo woo. Oh, I thought I said ooh woo, and I was like, don't you do that? Uh, so anyway, if you want to uh, just give them a big shout out from the tin cast or yourselves, uh, you can feel free to do so. Happy marriage. Happy <laughs> marriage and happy new year. Merry marriage. Uh, speaking of Twitter, if I can just give our other quick shout out to Pix, our guest star for this arc. Uh, we love Pix. She is a wonderful, wonderful joy to have on for the duration of the last train out. So yes, much She's energy. been super fun to work with. Yeah, she's she's an absolute blast. And on top of that, she's a talented artist, animator, and a whole bunch of other shit. She's um, just lovely. I loved her uh, depiction of Agori uh, swimming <gasps> yeah. through the sea. Oh. Yeah, we'll talk about that in a hot <laughs> sec. That was, um, that was beautiful. <laughs> but Long boy. You can uh, follow her and just tell her what a good job she's doing <laughs> uh, from her Twitter handle at Pixius Maximus. Thanks again, Pix. Thank you. Speaking of Twitter, Mark, do you want to take it away? Yeah, we have a Twitter that you can find us at. Um, what is it? It's uh, <laughs> Twitter.com. Well, tw- Twitter.com <laughs> slash T-I-N underscore cast. Yes. That's how you find us. Um, we are pretty active on Twitter. 
uh i know we've been posting a lot of art yeah marco has been going overboard with uh some wonderful art that's been retweeted um there including a little animatic it's uh, so good i loved from it arc three i laughed super hard yeah i was watching it while i was at work and i was just like so good also so shout good. out to howie for those really cute yeah, doodles seriously. she did like not yes doodles, sorry arts they were so good i literally showed it to my mom my dad my boyfriend and my sister and three of them were like i don't know what this is for but like congrats yeah, <laughs> yeah. also literally first official fan art yes so that thank was you. wonderful thank you howie at uh how does one person and the one is the number one i know we've shouted howie out before but it's howie's number one yeah howie is now he's been a pretty <laughs> faithful follower since close to the beginning yes Damn. uh so thank i guess we're thanking howie now thanks too. Al. Yeah, what thank else you can you do on twitter mark uh so <laughs> you can you can use the hashtag tincast and, what does that do you know max let me tell you about that you can uh you can get your name in an episode of tincast because that's how we do things around here you shout us out and we shout you out we have another we way that we have been uh, working at doing to get people's name in the show. Is uh, that the retweeting of the episode? Yes. If you retweet an episode, we will put your name in the show as well. Uh, I guess we're bringing that back. I sort of just stopped talking about it because no one really did it. But now people are doing it again. It's like, I still need names. Yeah. Uh, in this arc, we do have a shout out. Uh, and that's Asa, the lukewarm Yeti. That is their that is their description and they are at lukewarm underscore yeti and they've been retweeting a lot of episodes. Yeah. Um so thank you so much, Asa. You can look forward at Asa, Asa? What if Tomato I, Tomato? What if I retweet an episode? Beth, if you retweet an episode, I will be like, Thank you for doing what I do every single week. <laughs> um <laughs> That's my three followers. Asa, Asa, if you hit us up and let us know how to pronounce your name, uh, you actually have a very small window before before <laughs> I have to say your name in the show. So if you let me know, bud, uh, I will make sure that we do not butcher it. We also have a bot I'd like to thank real quick, whose name is just Aiden. And they <laughs> oh, one of yeah. the episodes so as a bot. Any bots out there, feel free. Any hot single bots looking to mingle. They're all hot and single. Um... <laughs> What else do we have to talk about? We have Patreon. Oh, yeah. Patreon's a thing. We do have a Patreon. Uh, you can find us at patreon.com slash tincast, I hope. Yes, that is correct. Great. I just have it stored on my phone, so I never really need to do that. <laughs> uh, you can store it in your phone, too, and just look at all the great content we got up there. We post, um, uh, for Patreons, um, we post uh, weekly snippets of upcoming episodes. Um, we post um, Q&As. Monthly one-off episodes. Monthly one-off episodes. And you can also find other stuff. I'm in charge of the Patreon. I can't remember what happens on Patreon. We have a lot of good stuff right there. Yeah. Um, we, we also always post uh, clips from our previous month, uh, higher tiers. So if you want to listen to some of the stuff we do, that's available for you. We do have some free goofs right now. We have some free bloopers available. They're not going to be unfree goofs they're just there for you yeah. um so there's some really nice free stuff that you can find on patreon yeah um, Patreon's so fun we also have a critical success tier it's the best tier in the whole world we'll love you for a million years if you subscribe to that tier and one, one might say it's magical it's magical mm -hmm. and the best part about it is we thank you each and every week yes if you subscribe to that tier uh, and that is why I've been doing it for so long, guys. Why don't, why doesn't one of you, uh, help me out here a little bit? Thank you, Alexander Getty, for your continued and everlasting support. You know what I heard about Alexander? He's the greatest. He's the greatest. I heard that he is actually a, uh, Guinness Book of World Records swimmer. <gasps> what? Really? No. But he might be. I he, have <laughs> he's been- a, He's an Olympian in my heart. I've been duped, uh- but you know what? I don't care because I just know, really appreciate Alexander Getty. <laughs> I do have a true fact about Alexander Getty. Mm -hmm. He's a beautiful man. Very beautiful. Um, you know what I forgot to mention? Mm -hmm. One of the best ways you can actually help us out is just to tell a friend. Yes. Talk to your friends for the love of God. Talk to your friends. Here's a fun fact for listeners. This has already been going on way too long. Thank you guys for being patient with us. We had a lot to talk about this week. Um, I was looking at like our view numbers and I told you guys about this. Georgia has actually overtaken our uh, own home states in terms of uh, listens. It's, so thank you to everyone in Georgia, yeah, I guess. It, Woo, it, shout out to Georgia. Shout out to Georgia. No idea what's happening there, but thank you. Maybe it'll just start spreading like wildfire. And we'll spread to South Carolina. Georgian wildfire. Oof. Florida. What a Florida man listens to our podcast. Florida man? Who is Florida man? <laughs> Just like anyone from Florida. Oh. 
Florida Man. Oh. You guys don't know about Florida Man? No. Look up Florida Man. Okay, great. Look up Florida Man. Anyway, yep. last thing to Shout say. Shout out before... to Florida Man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, last thing to say is we do have an email. Mm. Uh, tincast13 at gmail.com. And we'd love to hear from you if you have anything that you want to tell us or I send love... us pictures of your dogs. Oh, Actually, dude, yes, you know please. what? Actually, please do. I love getting emails and I love dogs. Anyway, thank you guys for being so patient with us. We appreciate you sitting through this whole thing. We'll let you get back to the episode now. Yes. Sorry. Um, thank you. And thanks for my good buds for coming on and helping me out with this one. Yes. Uh, next episode goes live on August 6th. We'll see you next month. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Ferg opens the door and motions for you all to go into a uh, cozy room, uh, primarily just a desk, some some chairs on the opposite side of it, and uh, Mayor Mothington uh, Coer <laughs> seated proudly um, as you enter. Is uh, he like a cool looking moth, or is he like just like kind of a lumpy moth? Yeah, is, actually, he, <laughs> is he beautiful? He is a distinguished older moth. Um, with actually like these these very uh, noticeable bushy and furry eyebrows. Is he balding? No, not balding. Is he muscly? Uh, <laughs> do not I look, really. Does he look like I could kick his moth ass? <laughs> you could. Uh, <laughs> does it look like he could kick my not moth ass? <laughs> <laughs> hypothetically, the four of you could definitely take this older moth in a fight, but he could probably get a few good blows in. I look to like Andy a and I fox. whisper. I'm just like we... he's a bit of a silver fox. I just look at Danny. And I'm like, we could totally take this guy. I like pat Ernest on the shoulder, and I approach the Mothman. Um, how many chairs I are think... on the other side of the desk? There, there are four chairs. He okay. looks prepared. Wow, how I sit on how floor convenient. Uh, as you sit on the floor, he he uh, wiggles his eyebrows, and again, I just would like seductively? to reiterate that no, Wait, hold on, <laughs> no, not seductively. Um, I just want to reiterate that the, the none of the moth people have mouths, and they are all speaking to you like in through your mind. I forgot about that. Uh, Hello, psychic that's moth so mayor. Um, the the moth <laughs> turns to address uh, Meg first and says. Mr. Megalo, I am just terribly sorry that you have been wrapped up in this whole thing. No, no, please. It was my doing. Don't worry about it. Uh, well, consider yourself, of course, more than welcome to uh, continue your your stay in the train yard. Bless. And, yeah. <laughs> and he turns to the rest of you and says, The three of you, uh, however, are... Uninvited, but not unexpected. Dandy shrugs. Wouldn't be the first time. Uh, Just some more discrimination. I see how it is. <laughs> discrimination is a bit of a hard word. I pull I... out the wanted poster and I put it on his desk. <laughs> the reason I have called the four of you in here today uh, is because I want to make something perfectly clear. The train yard has no interest in attempting to take over the rest of the world. Your world. Uh-huh. Uh, of course, we would be more than happy to prove it uh, if you if you so desire. Um, but uh, most importantly, with your consent, we would uh, be happy for you, uh, if you if we could arrange your transport out of the train yard and back to Earth. No. I think you have oh, a few probably. questions you need to answer before we go anywhere. Uh, he, he nods and says, of course, of course, of course. Uh, what what questions do you have? Well, first of all, the places that we've been, there's been stuff there that's come from here. So why are things that were made here showing up in worlds that were created basically by demons? He, uh rubs rubs the back of his uh head uh, a little sheepishly almost and says mr williams i'm not sure if you have figured it out yet uh but you are dealing with demons here we i uh the rest of my good people here we're demons ernest uh, looks horrified <laughs> danny like raises her hand yes dandera now 
Is this like a host situation, or are you guys just actually inhabiting like a plane of your own existence? Uh, we do have a host, as as is Arthur. standard. Arthur, yes. Uh, how <laughs> are you familiar with Arthur? Um, we saw it in a dream involving yeah, I... three FBI agents three years ago. Weirdly specific. Uh, <laughs> and he he turns again to Meg and says, "Mr. Megalo, you must be horribly confused right now." Only little. <laughs> Uh, let me give you the rundown of how most of these places operate. So, uh, contract, right? It starts with a contract between a demon and a person. Following it so far? Mm-hmm. Uh, the demon offers the the human or the host, uh, for simplicity's sake, paradise, whatever they desire. Uh, okay. And it's granted to them. Uh, however, most of my brethren are trying to essentially kill the host, which disrupts the whole plane, uh, and then they can use that to escape from hell, and their plan is to destroy the world. Sound sound good? Not good, but I am following. Yes. We do not operate by that principle. Okay. <laughs> so what do you do then? <laughs> we simply distribute goods. What kind of goods? So you're the arms dealer. Oh, shit, oh, dude. Dude. Mm. That's not good. No bueno. Um, okay, well, now now who's who's jumping to conclusions and stereotyping? Arms deals is, is simply not accurate whatsoever. What, okay. uh... He, he starts, like... He opens like a filing cabinet um, and says, uh, "Can you? Can the three of you name name one of the places you've uh, subsequently destroyed?" Honey Oak. Honey Oak. Honey Oak. Uh, and he starts pulling out um, like like this little this little envelope and uh, ruffles through it. Okay, Honey Oak. We provided a whisper box and a, uh, a suit press. Uh, and he turns to, that's not really a weapon. Neither of those were weapons. A machine that answers your questions and a, a, a human skin generator? How I is that a weapon? really Disguises hate to break this to you, <laughs> but it was a metaphor, you dumb shit. <laughs> Someone, uh, a couple of demons used the, um, the skin presses to impersonate people and then incited... Um, sort of descent into the ranks of the town leading to murder and um, that's why we had to go and destroy it because they were you know just killing people get ready to kill the host eventually working their way up to it to it you know by making everyone crazy set the town on fire so um, yeah uh, mayor Mothington sighs and says I have a feeling this is going to be an issue that you and I just will not be able to see eye to eye on I'm really missing on what there's to see to eye to eye on. You're sitting here telling us that you provide things that aid demons in killing people. Again, we are demons. Y yeah, well, yes, <laughs> but I'm talking forgot. about demons with malicious intent, whereas you don't seem to have malicious intent. I just have a don't question. quote me on that. What, do, what the heck do you guys get out of providing these not weapons? Uh, <laughs> the uh, Mayor, Mayor Mothington shrugs and says... Well, that's, uh, it's, it's kind of a one-sided deal. It's just what we do. We provide services to, uh, the humans who have gotten invitations here, and we, uh, we give them jobs, and they, they build stuff that is requested. I'm just confused. Now, this is gonna sound very rude, but I don't know any other way to ask this. The people here, are they the denizens, such as, like, like the demons who created this place or are they like the dead humans that come back to life in places like these the, as monsters our human residents are 100 percent human mm -hmm. that i can assure you they're not they're not monsters we're the denizens if anything now are you the demon that made this place uh he 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 raises his eyebrows and in your head you hear a hearty laugh as he says, no, 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 that is, that is not, uh, that is not me. I am, I am not nearly, nearly a high enough rank for that sort of thing. So you're just like a minion? I'm the mayor. You're a baby. You're minion mayor. 
Well, I, I get that you're the mayor, but I just meant in terms of like demon hierarchy, you're like a minion. Uh, yes, I mean, I, I do have a much more powerful superior, if that's what you're asking. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's all I wanted to know. Uh, any other questions just while we're here, while we're chatting away? Can I get goods from you? <laughs> Ernest. Uh, <laughs> Wait, yes, I, hmm, I was invited here to get job? Well, Megalo, I, if I remember correctly, you are, you are sort of a prestigious uh, example. Arthur chose you himself. Oh, charming, I suppose. Uh, you're interested in a higher calling, yeah, the dark arts, is that correct? Uh, vaguely, yes. <laughs> I, am, I am here for magic. I don't know if it's dark, but magic, yes. Okay, yes, yes, of course. Well, uh, you are, of course, more than welcome to take up a job uh, with us, but, you know... Um, uh, eventually, we would we would love to get you training for for some magical things. That's the whole reason you came here. We are more than happy to accommodate you for that. But we can't have a job. He turns back to the three of you and says, "How can I put this nicely? I actually like the three of you. I think that the work you do is uh, perhaps misguided and against my." you know, operations. You're destroying a lot of hard-earned property that we craft here. But I, I genuinely admire your your robustness, your determination, and... Trying not to get our world destroyed? And whether it be skill or sheer dumb luck, there is no doubt that what you three do is, is uh, truly, truly fascinating. It's more like a documentary. No, <laughs> you're more like a drama. You're more of a liability. Wonderful. Oh, that's mean. Uh, My feelings are hurt now. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, and he, he shakes his head almost begrudgingly uh, and says, I don't like to assume how people are, though. Anyone, be it, be it one of mine or your people. I need, I need concrete proof to see what sort of people you are before I can just jump to conclusions. Besides any, again, motions to wanted posters. I, I hope you can understand that. It's just, again, sort of been destroying worlds, wanted to make sure that every precaution has been taken. Now they are wanted posters. They're not person of interest posters anymore. Okay, it's a generalization. Ooh. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, no, now he generalizes. Anyway, now I- I understand, Mister <laughs> Mister Core. Uh, I have to, I tend to agree with you on the whole, whole like, don't judge a book by its cover sort of thing. Like, I appreciate what you're saying about how you're like, we don't want to infiltrate the world, and I'm, I want to believe you, but I also don't have any reason to. Do you understand where I'm coming from for that? Well, yes, of course. I, you know, where where talk is cheap, as it were. Mm-hmm. So, and he frowns uh, and is is contemplating to himself and says, I suppose the best I can do is offer you evidence that we have no means to, to cause any of you any harm. I like. Uh, and he claps his hands together and says... We send people, uh, both moth and human, up weekly to check in on Arthur. Uh, uh-huh. I believe if the three, four of you, Megalo, if you are interested, I cannot stop you. Uh, yes. Are, are more than welcome to, to travel up the mountainside uh, and visit him. I, I'm sure talking to him will set your mind at ease. That's fair. Yes. I yes. just... Yes. I just want to say one thing right now to you, Mr. In Charge Mayor. <laughs> if we are attacked by anyone, we will defend ourselves. Absolutely. Uh, the the Moth Mayor looks a little nervously at you and says, I promise you, no citizen will harm you. No okay, citizen? Okay, because it just... No, yeah, so we just that's came, a we, hell of a we, loophole, yeah. sir. Yeah, <laughs> we just came in and everyone seems to either hate us or be afraid of us. So I'm just going to tell you right now, it doesn't matter who they are. If you if we are attacked, 
we will defend ourselves. I have That's a question. Uh, yes, Mr. Williams. Um, are there monsters here? Are there like not not uh, not yeah, the, the folk. dead the the dead humans? Yeah. We have had casualties over the years, and as such, uh, I'm sure, well, everyone except Megalo, you would be familiar with what happens. Yes, uh, humans do still transform, uh, so that is that is still uh, very much an issue here. Can't do much about that. It's the nature of these places. Do they have to be dead, or can they just do it randomly? No, it is a very much deceased human uh, predicament. Huh. What, do they, hmm. what do they transform into? Well, uh, I think you've already seen them. Oh, oh, the cockroaches. No, that was the demon, right? Demons. Was it a demon? There was, I pull out the face of Jethro, and I'm just like, this is a guy in the train <laughs> who was super injured, and then he, like, melted into a bunch of cockroaches. Yeah, that'd be, uh, that'd be one of Arthur's. Arthur's what? Help, I guess you could call it. Oh, so he was just like, oh, you just know, like, just peek peeking at us, spying on us. I have no idea what those insects can and cannot see. <laughs> okay, so please answer the question. What do people turn into here? Uh, and he he, he looks very anxious. Uh, and he says, large piles of sentient insects. That's gross. Ew. Um. So like large piles of cockroaches. Yes. Oh, so if you die, and you become Arthur's help. Well, that's how these places work uh, until they eventually turn on the host. Again, that's how these places work. How do you stop that from happening? That's something I think Arthur could answer better than I can. All right. One last question before we go. How long have you guys been here? The train yard has been proudly operating for five years. Holy shit. Oh, that's a long time. Dang. Oh, I was expecting something a little longer, but okay. Yeah, same. Yeah, but the other places we... Not that we haven't been to, like, every single place. I'm sure there's dozens. And I still don't understand how one of them hasn't, like, broken out into the world yet. Or, But that's a, another story. But, like, five <laughs> years is a long time. I mean, mm. yeah, I just figured since it was such a well-established thing that it would be, you know, mm. uh, older. I just don't understand why a demon was like, yeah, I'll give you whatever you want. Uh, me, I don't want to invade the world. I just want to give you what you want. Yeah, yeah that, that is seems fishy. suspicious. Uh, Mayor Mothington says, again, Arthur can answer all of your questions so much better than I can. And he, he pulls out a piece of paper and says, but any chance I could just get the three of you to leave? No, we can probably, get you. Probably not. not we can right get you on now. a first class train out of this place. No, because no. the last time we were on a train, we got shot at. Yeah, a bunch of bandits tried to kill us, and then yeah. your moth guy attacked me on the train. Did you try and attack the moth guy on the train? No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. No, I very shittily like threw a piece of glass, and he like attacked me. Uh, he shuffles through some more papers and says. All right, this was train number 843. Oh, I do apologize. The conductor's first day on the job. He's oh. still a bitch. <laughs> that hurt. I got a headache. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, quick quick question, Mayor. Yes, if, yes, Mr. Megalo. It, Meg. Um, if, <laughs> <laughs> so if we were to travel up mountain... What is most convenient way of traveling up mountain that does not require actual climbing? Well, uh... <laughs> Aren't you guys proficient in magic here? Can't you just, like... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, what she did. <laughs> <laughs> Can you do that? You, like... Okay, uh... Mayor, Mayor Mothington uh, sort of squints his eyes just a little bit, and Dandy, you just feel... No pain, but a very, very slight pressure uh, on your mind for a second. What the fuck are you doing? Uh, and as it dissipates, he says, sorry, sorry, just uh, showing you an example. We are sort of uh, more mental beings than magical beings. Ooh, don't do ooh. that. Make don't hands. do that. Can you mentally teach me to make us up mountain? <laughs> <laughs> Um, he, he, he looks a little, uh, distressed at you, Meg, and says, no, no, I can't really do that. Um, 
But what? Where? where but, why not? <laughs> that's not how it works, Meg. How does it work? <laughs> He's asking yeah. good questions. Thank you. <laughs> it's not. It's not necessarily a steep mountain. We have a well-established trail that has traveled up. Uh, Are there like horses here? No, no horses. Uh, bikes. Damn. No bikes. Cars. Car? No skateboard. Feet. Skateboard. <laughs> Wait, I got it. Bike train. Mountain train. Feet. Air train. But can I have? A See, pair I of don't wings? have those. Can I have some wings? Can we fly? No, Dan. <laughs> No, no flight, no, no wings, none of that. Can you fly us up there? Can you? Well, yeah, can you fly? Um, he says, yeah, I do have wings. Flight Hell. is sort of. So we'll need in, to borrow uh, 182 of you. <laughs> per person. Mr. Williams, I cannot arrange for that many people to accompany you up the mountain. Okay, okay. Uh, can Ferg escort us up the mountain? <laughs> no, Ferg is going to stay here with me. I believe Johnson. Maybe you've met Johnson. Which is that the oh, guy that attacked uh, us immediately? Yes. The, is that the guy that attacked me on the train? Who attacked no. me on the train? What's his name? No, no Johnson was Johnson your tour guide. Johnson was the tour guide. Oh, okay. Who's the guy that attacked me? Uh, he did have a name. I don't remember what it was. Though. He and I will have words later. Okay, you can you can hit him up a little later. <laughs> Give him a little um, ring on his moth phone. <laughs> um, so uh, if you guys head to the north end of town, uh, we'll say seven a.m. in the morning. Uh, you can meet Johnson there and begin your trek up. Cool. I have a question. One last question. <laughs> yes, yes, Miss Lane. Of course. Is there an actual souvenir shop here? Uh, what are you looking for? I don't know. I've got uh, a friend that wants a present, so. Oh, I'm I'm sure as a sign of good faith we could commission something. Okay. What about I one of those little birds that tip into yeah, I got like him a, a little... t-shirt last time. I just wanted to come home with something. <laughs> Mr. Williams, you are currently in a completely magical plane uh, that produces exclusively magical artifacts. Incredible. Incredible magical artifacts. And you want a little bird that dips into a cup? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> one that Ernest... screams when it does so. <laughs> Ooh, uh, big Ernest cup. Also wants hey, to me, the little birds that dip into the cup is magic. <laughs> Says the man with actual magical powers. <laughs> he knows. Do anything fire related? Oh my god! Fire related? I uh, yeah. I mean, we can we can do just about everything. So am I commissioning? And he like is pulling out a sheet of paper. Two screaming cup birds. <laughs> no, I don't actually want that. I want something cool. <laughs> oh my god! Get up, get something for Jonathan. What? Jonathan, your son, the the um the noodle in a cup. Well, the noodle. I want something for He's me. Make, <laughs> make would like to commission item, please. Uh, of 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 course, Mister Megalo. What? Okay. Uh, what? I would like. <laughs> I would like blanket, magic blanket that gets <laughs> bigger when you unfold. <laughs> that <laughs> unlimited I mean, that... blanket. I was gonna say at first that just sounds like a regular blanket, but no, no, it has the, no. It, it's the biggest. There's no blanket. end. Could Expand hold blanket. a random number five people in their blanket. Um, a magical blanket of ever expanding. I want. Yes. I want a little pet Mothman. <laughs> he, <laughs> Mayor Mothington, turns horrified to you, Ernest, and says. That is actually slavery. I no, I grab not Ernest. a real moth man. <laughs> I a grab little Ernest. magic one that you can make. Like a doll. He just wants a doll. Yeah, but I want it to be sentient. <laughs> <laughs> he does not want sentience. He just wants one that has a catchphrase. I don't think phrase. he wants you to like, like, itemize <laughs> and fetishize the their people. I, like, 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 I'm moth-tastic. I'm, I'm writing oh. down moth doll with catchphrase for Ernest. That sounds great. Okay, um, could I please trouble you for something cool and fire related, but also can't start real fires? <laughs> cool and fire related can't start. Maybe like a flame that doesn't actually burn. <laughs> he sounds so tired. He's just like, and God, can't get anything else on fire. That creates flame, but can't <laughs> burn. 
not real fire. He looks uh, exhausted <laughs> as he says, and I can't just bribe you guys with these things and you'll leave. No, no, but I do. I will guarantee you that because you're doing us this huge favor, actually, we will be in our absolute best behavior. Well, and as soon I... as we meet with Arthur, we leave. Uh, I don't promise that. I don't okay, promise well, that. Okay. Okay. Right. You watch him uh, <laughs> lower his his moth eyebrows and uh, pull his his sheet of paper with your request on it back. It says, "Well, now, sort of sounds like Mayor Mothington and the good people of the train yard aren't getting a whole lot out of this deal. I think we have been more than generous." We can grant you your magical artifacts. Hell, we can get him to you by tomorrow morning. Oh, I mean, if, if it's if you don't want to get him for us because you're like, get out right now. I don't need I don't need it. I just wanted to get a souvenir for my friend. I don't need this. I'm not negotiating when I'm going to leave. We're going to investigate. Make sure shit's safe here. If it is like then it is. But I'm not going to be literally bribed to leave with magic. Cool shit. I don't need that. He turns to you, miss. Or he turns to you, Harvey, and says, uh, what about you, Mr. Williams? No, I'm pretty much down with what Dandy's saying. We get to check out what we need to check out, and nothing is going to bribe like us said, to leave. Best behavior. We're not. I, we're, I can promise you that I will not, and none of us will just go around and start attacking any of the citizens. We'll start doing anything unnecessarily violent to anybody. Best behavior. Under the condition that if we are attacked first, we defend ourselves. That is it. Uh, Mayor Mothington, looking like he's uh, accrued more than a few gray moth hairs today, <laughs> um, <laughs> sighs uh, and says, I mean, listen, if you've really got nothing to, if you say that you've got nothing to worry about and you really don't, then I don't understand why you're so nervous, sir. We're not bad people. Of course. All right. Meg, Meg will need that blanket, though. If it's not too much <laughs> trouble, it's very important. We will fast track your commissions and get them to you uh, before you leave in the morning. Fist pumps. Yes. Ernest uh, raises his hand. Yes, uh, Mr. Uh, Fundamental Misunderstanding Hawthorne. Yes, that's me. Um <laughs> It, so it, every everything you make is magic, right? So that doll's gonna be magic. Yes, Ernest. <laughs> Why? Just just making sure. Okay. All right. Sorry to troubled you so much, sir. If you don't mind, we would be more than happy to go seek out Arthur. Uh, first thing in the morning. Where We're will we now. stay till then? We have arranged uh, for the finest accommodations in the entire train yard. You will be staying in luxury suites uh, uh, overnight, mostly, uh, before you travel up the mountain. Are we sharing rooms? Because I usually share a room with Ernest. We can. We did book four rooms for the four of you. I can certainly retract as many as you Ernest, need. Ernest, do you want to have a sleepover? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Um, does anyone else want to have a sleepover? I'm good. I'm no. All no, right, sleep over. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, three rooms. I will try to make sure that there is an extra bed in uh, one of them. Oh, I can just drag yeah, it back Ernest from one of the other rooms. That. <laughs> Sir, please don't. <laughs> so I just have another question about why we can't go tonight, because that seems a little suspicious. <sighs> he. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Pix, did you have something to say? No. Okay. <laughs> he he says um it is it is a, sort of a weekly thing. So with with that in mind, uh I you the four of you, please feel free. Go up the mountain at your leisure. Uh no escort required. I free reign of the establishment, of course, of course. Um just that was my personal recommendation was to go with a with a guide. Oh, we'll do that then. Okay. <laughs> well, yeah. it has been wonderful meeting the four of you. Uh, I hold up my hand to shake his hand. He cautiously accepts it and shakes it uh, and says, and I hope you all enjoy your stay in the train yard. Thank you, sir. Jackson Thank you. will take you over to uh, your rooms. 
All right, we'll be seeing you soon, Mr. Mayor. Oh, I'm sure you will. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> uh, Bye. He does. He does not return the goodbye. And uh, <laughs> don't be fucking you... rude. <laughs> <laughs> goodbye, Mr. Megalo. <laughs> Thank you. Um, and the four of you head out. I don't think they liked us. Mm. Yeah, I've never been so disliked in my life, and it, my first instinct is to get like sassy and defensive. But I'm actually really hurt. Yeah, I, I I'm not hurt. I like being but... hated. Yeah, it makes sense <laughs> that we go up the the mountain on that specific day, though, because if it's like a weekly routine, there's no guarantee that Arthur's gonna be there. Oh yeah, no, I just um, am under. Their, it was just weird that they were like no 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 like we have a guide for you it's like they were buffering for something yeah it looks like they were giving themselves ample time to shenanigans yeah that's if they if they go up the same time every single week that's clockwork that's easy to manufacture something especially if this whole place is about manufacturing magical shit so i mean granted let's go up with the guy tomorrow see what's happening if we feel the need to reinvestigate like we can go after we know like go up the trail once it won't be very confusing or difficult to go up a second time by ourselves if we need to. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, so you guys you guys finish up this conversation as you make your way back into the lobby where uh, Jackson is waited with uh, folded arms, and he says, have a nice uh, talk with the mayor. Yeah, yeah, it was enlightening. Pleasant. That's good. Uh, well, I've had I've commissioned a few uh, citizens to help gather up the uh, person of interest posters, so hopefully uh, you won't get as many stares while you're here. Is there a fireplace nearby? Yeah, there's a there's a cozy fire going on. Okay, Meg Meg takes wanted posters that were still in pocket and starts putting them in fire. <laughs> uh, okay, you also notice your pocket getting more and more wet as you stand next to the, as you stand oh. next to the fire. Oh no 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 no! no, no. <laughs> <laughs> he throws the wall in and just like walks away from the fire immediately in a haste. <laughs> okay, great. Um, and Jackson says. So, any more business before I uh, get you guys all situated in your rooms? Will there be hot cocoa in the rooms? You guys had hot cocoa. Yeah, will again. there be more do we need, hot cocoa? Do we need moth money? I don't have any moth money. Yeah, uh, give me some moth money, bro. <laughs> <laughs> don't have moth money. Sort of just have resources to give out. Oh, that's nice. I that's like, actually that's kind wonderful. of cool. So, is this that. a socialist? Does cocoa or... count as resource? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, as far as I know, socialism either hasn't been invented yet or is already a dirty word. So let's not use the, <laughs> use, the use the S word around here. Shit. But uh, we also, you know, don't really have a need for money. Mm. Uh, is there a bar? Oh my God, is there <laughs> a do. bar? Meg we lights do. up. <laughs> <laughs> yes, there there is a bar. Is drinking illegal here? Drinking is not illegal here. Guys. They, fuck the prohibition. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should go drinking. Uh, uh, hold on. Um, but if you... Oh, go oh, ahead, man. No, no. Ladies first. Oh, I was just going to say, if we have nothing else, if you wouldn't mind escorting us to our room. So if you've got something to say, please, by all means. I have something else, yes. <laughs> uh, yes, Megalo, of course. May I make a uh, request of you? I can only promise to try. Okay, and before he asks, can I roll to check something real quick? I want to be this guy's best friend. <laughs> okay, uh, why don't why don't you lay out the, what you're trying to do? I'm going to ask him. I'm I'm going to have Meg yell catch and then promptly throw the snowball I've had in my pocket at Jackson. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Do I roll to see whether or not I hit him or miss? Well, funny enough, Call of Cthulhu has a throw skill. Yes. <laughs> what does it uh, mean? Throw. Twenty percent. Okay. I failed. <laughs> <laughs> Do you? Do, are you going to push the roll? Uh, yes. Okay. Um. So. You yell catch and just start winding your arm as you start to think to yourself like your initial throw wasn't good. And as you're winding your arm, you have a sneaking suspicion that if you fail again, you might like actually dislocate your shoulder. That's my good shoulder. <laughs> um, 
Oh, thank God. <laughs> okay. It was a success. Oh, nice. Okay. So it was you fucking killed... 15, though, so it was, like, really, really fucking close. Um, so you yell catch, wind up your arm as uh, Jackson looks around confused. Is my <laughs> arm still broken? No. No, you guys spent a good enough time in the hospital. Um, okay. okay. Uh, as you throw primarily a lot of water and like a little bit of <laughs> cold, <laughs> damp snow directly at his face, and he sputters and says, <laughs> "So, but what? <laughs> Why?" It was thanks for all your hard work. <laughs> he frowns deeply and says. I've been gone from Earth a long time. <laughs> Do you want to... This might seem a bit, like, forward, but, like, if we're getting drinks, do you want to join us for drinks? Maybe just, like, tell us about how things work here? Yes! Uh, yeah, once you guys get settled in, I don't see any reason why we can't get drinks. Cool! Okay, can I can Also, I it takes him? ten weeks to heal a fracture, um, so I think my arm's still broken. What's that? It takes ten weeks to heal a fracture. Oh. Well, I think it's only been about a month. Uh, so I think... I, just, I can have a cast on. My heart, like, my fingers still work, but I've got... Oh, wait, what? Like, what part of my hand was fucking broken? Was it my hand or my arm? I thought it was my arm. Why was your arm broken again? Uh, th uh, when you fell out the window? Oh, you got crushed by a fridge! Yeah, no, I got or crushed by the radio. radio. By the radio, that's right. Radio is a radio. Yeah, crushed yeah. by a radio. Imagine being crushed by a fucking fridge. I thought it was a piano uh, so for a second. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, it's definitely... Uh, it's definitely your arm. It's probably still in a sling. Okay. Okay, alright, well... Okay, great. Fuck. I, continuity. Continuity <laughs> is our friend. I mean, like, I, fu I fucked myself over, because you said it was my left arm, and I was like, I'm left-handed. And then you're like, no, your arm's not broken. I'm like, no, nah, it's still broken. No, no. That's fair. Um, yeah, but you know what? That that's good. Um, also, quick question: Do do telephones exist in this time? I don't remember. Yes, they do. Do personal telephones exist, or is it just no? No, it's just regular. It's, like you can have one in your house and your room and stuff, but like cell phones, no. Okay. Um. Hmm. Jackson, do you perchance know the numbers for our rooms? Uh. Well, I'm sure we can go over to the hotel and find that out. That would be great. Um, and he leads you guys uh, out into the cold snow.